From the year 1228 BCE until 879 BCE, the young Jewish nation, still fresh in their homeland, lurched unsteadily through the era of the judges like a battered ship, scaling peaks of clarity, then plunging into immorality and suffering. In the midst of this turmoil, a severe famine struck the Holy Land. Eli Melech, a wealthy leader from the tribe of Judah, escaped the hunger by relocating from Bethlehem to the hostile pagan country of Moab along the Holy Land's eastern border with his wife Naomi and two sons. This outstanding Judean family attracted attention. The boys married Moabite princesses, daughters of King Eglon, and granddaughters of the biblical King Balak of Moses' times. Elimelech and his sons met early deaths, and Naomi desired to return to Bethlehem. She urged her childless Moabite daughters-in-law to re-embrace their pagan countrymen. Princess Orpah returned to her idols and depraved lifestyle, and she bore the villainous giant Goliath, who blasphemed the God of Israel and was slain by King David. But Princess Ruth refused to leave Naomi. She cherished her noble mother-in-law and had fallen in love with the God of Israel. Eventually, Ruth became the heroine of all righteous converts. But at the time, she and Naomi found themselves starving in the streets of Judah. God guided Ruth's steps to the fields of Boaz, a famously righteous man and an elderly relative of Naomi's deceased husband, Eli Malach. Boaz was struck by Ruth's modesty and righteousness. He guided Ruth in collecting agricultural gifts to the poor prescribed by Torah law, and he offered her protection throughout the harvest season. Young bachelors would have gladly married Ruth, but she sought a man of outstanding saintliness and kindness. Naomi encouraged Ruth to ask the elderly Boaz to marry her. Boaz was moved by Ruth's selfless dedication to her ideals. He first offered Naomi's closer relative the chance to marry Ruth because that man had precedence according to ancient practice. But when the man declined, Boaz and Ruth were married in a joyous public celebration. Ruth's contribution to the Jewish nation altered all of history. She and Boaz had one child, a son whom her former mother-in-law Naomi helped raise to righteousness. That child's grandson, who was born in 907 BCE, was none other than King David.